Yep, we're going to react to a Dala Elevira video. It's not going to be in my video, so the original will be down, the, down in the links below. And it's called, I Investigated the City of Sex Offenders. We're about to get sicked by convicted sex offenders. Dog right now. Get off my property, I told you. I'm angry, angry. Said you're being detained, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Pervert Park, a trailer park in St. Petersburg, Florida, housing 120 plus convicted sex offenders. Uh, mine was like four of third degree, like felony. Yeah. You know, count, uh, like three or four pictures. No, mine, mine was internet. Porn. Mine was actually in a, uh, what do you call a uh, zip file? Coming out back from vacation, six o'clock in the morning, they stormed the house. I'm like, what the? I'd say they exterminated. Why don't you cut off their hands and their feet? Yeah. Just look for the creeps coming out of there. They just look a little longer at the younger girls. What did you do to end up here? Yeah, I go with cold cock your ass. You're gonna cold cock me? But before I asked Whoa. The how they got here, I wondered how the locals felt about their neighbors and if they should right. be <laughs> Tyler is crazy. This man is crazy. I saw this. A daycare right there. Look at this. Wow. So we got Rosie's Play School for infants, home cooked meals, 7 to 5 p.m. A lot of parents probably go to work, leave their kids here. And we got Pervert Park right across the street. My suspicion is a lot of families probably do not feel super comfortable with convicted sex offenders being right there. Anyone that lives yeah, in the Yeah, what the fuck? Why is that? easily come out here and just watch, which is why this is creepy. Because please close gate for the safety of your children. There may be some questionable people out here lurking and watching. What did the parents think about how close these sex offenders were to their kids' daycare? That does not make oh, sense. Park. 120 convicted sex offenders being right there. Yeah, I hate it. I feel like, you know, burn it down. Honestly, yeah. like, you know, I'm a parent, man. I got six kids. You send your kids to daycare around here? Uh, just this one right here for now. This is the only one that had availability for the moment. You go to work, you have to put the kids in daycare. Does it make you feel weird knowing those people are right over there? I mean, I'm not comfortable with it, yeah. but I, I still have to go to work. I'm a full-time student. I don't really have a choice other than bringing her here. Do you wish they would move the people there somewhere else, more remote? Well, I'm surprised they haven't. Me too. <laughs> I don't get it. It's crazy. They got a little somewhere. Yeah. Would, would you wish they were more remote and in the middle of nowhere? No. So there's no conflict with the locals and them? They got a little. When did you learn that that place hosted 120 convicted sex offenders. Not long ago. How uh, long ago? About a year ago, I, I figured that oh. out. Did it disturb you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's unnerving. It pisses me off. I feel like I feel like they should be somewhere not as close to like a school or. Oh, I agree. Know, daycare. I get it. It's like you know, well, they're people too, but it's like. Uh, fuck that, you know? Well, well, let me just tell you this too. Yeah. There's no lock here, so anybody can go in. That's not what we want to hear. It's always been a problem, but no one's really brought it into light, and I'm kind of glad that you are. Thank you for sharing. Look, she just opened the gate. She walked in. It's that easy. Where do you think these people should be put? Way out in the woods or put to death. Appreciate your honesty. I'm sure a lot of people agree. We're going to try to infiltrate, see if we can get the honest scoop. Hey, right on, bro. These convicted sex offenders could yeah. literally get in the car, park over here, chill with some binoculars if they wanted to. Not trying to give ideas out here, but this is one of the only daycares this mom said that had availability, allowing her to place her kid here while she goes to work. She said her voice has not been heard, but we're gonna give her voice a megaphone here and hopefully make some change. But not every local felt the same about living next to these sex offenders. You got kids? I do, I have six. Okay, I would imagine you gotta feel some type of way. I believe in Jesus Christ and everybody has an opportunity to change if they welcome me in. I think we should take it one for three as slaves. As slaves. Put a rest of your life to a day day die. And for God's sake. Fair. Yeah. Bye. Jeez. Yeah. I think they should be supervised. Sure. But I forgive. Do so. you think um, there's an opportunity for them to reform? and? It's, it's a hard one for them. Yeah. Right? You know? They're going to be around somebody somewhere. Do you, do you want to tempt them with a school? No, but how far do you get them away? And when is it not a temptation? There's a bus line right here. That is true, but if you put them a bird's eye well, view, then, it's a little then, bit- Then you want to put them in jail. The secondary option might just be to put them in the middle of nowhere. Then how are they going to work? How could they ever make a recovery? A self-sufficient society. Yeah, we used to do that with blacks. It doesn't work. You can't separate well, what, out- What does race have to do with black? You can't separate out groups and say, you can't be part of society. Sure you can. But well, you could. I'm, I'm called by Christ not to do that. I'm called by Christ to forgive. Why did they have an Australia thing there? Why what? And save you, okay? Yeah. And he takes care of me. He blesses me every day. Did we do that? But you good. I'm I'm called by Christ not to do that. I'm called by Christ to forgive and take care of everyone. So you don't he think is it's my Lord and Savior, okay? Yeah. And he takes care of me. He blesses me every day. Judge not lest ye be judged. Fair, fair. Bye.
I don't even know if it's about judgment, but more so the practical logistics of um, putting judgment. them in a position it's not to. that they will repeat. It's, I, I suppose it's risk management, perhaps. It's flat out judgment. There's a little kid walking home right across the street. Look at that, right across the street. That's unbelievable, that ain't right. What are your thoughts on them being so close? I don't know how that happens. I don't know how it's legal. No, it can't be. That would be getting rid of them all, man. Yeah? Put them in jail or something. Would you hope that they would not live so close to kids? You would think. You would think there'd be some kind of law against it. It's really unsafe, but you know, everybody got to live. After hearing the They're in the pouring rain. Headed to the Waffle House right across the street from Burger Park. Here, I'm sure Waffle House has seen some shit out here. Question for y'all. You guys know where Palace Park is? Like a pervert park? Oh, that one's right there. Right there? Yeah. What? So is the deal that oh, sex offenders live there? Child blessers? Sex offenders, every one of them. What are your guys' thoughts on that? What do you think? Uh, I think we can exterminate them all. Exterminate them? Why do you think they're so close to the um, the school over there, the daycare? They'd they probably be, be far enough They must be time. far enough away. Because they got to go somewhere because they won't let you kill them. And I'd be in the prison. Nothing happens to you in the prison. What do you think the city should do with these people? I'd say they exterminate them. i got grandkids. I'd say kill them. Well, you know, if you're not going to do that, mm. I'd say cut off their hands and their feet. What do you guys think? I definitely think they need to be away. In society, but in a way. Like away from... That's kind of hard though. If they can't help themselves and they're close to a daycare or the school, is that a recipe for disaster? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They always catch three or four motherfuckers that work at Disney. Sure. So where are you going to find a child molester? Disneyland. Wherever you can get around kids. You know, Mickey Mouse could be naked under that uniform. You don't know what he's wearing. That's a great he's point. grabbing kids and holding kids. Nice guy. That being said, it's raining pretty hard. I'm gonna try to go in there. After confirming the park was in fact right across the street, I bought some Mr. Beast bars from 7-Eleven and headed to Pervert Park under the guise of selling chocolate to raise enough money to go to Disney. We'll take this type of thing. Them the chocolate, I would then but can people change though? Up here. Let's go talk to some predators. I suppose once, yeah, I can't agree with you there. Hey there. How are you? I'm trying to sell chocolate bars to raise money to go to Disney World. Uh, wait, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Well, if you won't buy something, hear me out. Do you know anyone who might be interested in buying one chocolate bar? I'm trying to rate $3 a pop. Real quick, sir, one last question. One last question. No. Are you a sex offender? No, I'm not. You're not a sex offender? What did you do to get here? Are you sure, sir? Look, leave me alone. Get out of hell. I do like to see you. Well, I'm selling some chocolate bars, sir. Well, I don't care. Is this the pervert park? Or did I go? No. It's your business. What the hell it is? No, genuinely. Get them, just leave. Genuine question, leave. sir. Sure, genuine question. Know. I'm not going to hear you well. I'm going to call. Call the cops? Well, I might have felt bad soliciting this old man to buy chocolate. <laughs> <but> Donald <laughs> here had molested a child between the ages of 12 and 15. So I kept on knocking on doors. Oh, no. Nah. Knock, knock. Hey there. Do you know where I'm at, miss? I'm trying to sell some chocolate bars. So what do you think they should do with these guys? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. What do you mean? Don't do that here, because a lot of these people don't want to be bothered. Why not? I get it. You're trying to sell, but sometimes be careful where you're at. You do that, not walk it again. I'm just going to say that to you. Know where you're at. While these sex offenders seem to have no issue violating children without their <laughs> consent, it seemed like soliciting chocolate bar sales is where they drew the line. Hey there, I'm selling some chocolate bars to raise funds to go to Disney World. Would you guys be interested in buying anything? So I got milk chocolate feastable, um, three dollars. No, sir. Let me just show you the flavors real quick. No. Diabetic. Are you a diabetic? Yeah. No, I'm diabetic. Do you guys both diabetics? Ain't no way both y'all diabetics. Is it um? Is the sex offender thing real out here? Yeah. Yeah? Do you guys know anyone out here? No, you do, yeah. Yeah? Are you guys sex offenders? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, everyone is. What'd you guys do to end up here? Fishing in a public park. Really? Yeah. I was about 27, 28. Just whipped your dog out, took a piss? In a public park. What's the worst story you've heard out here? I haven't talked to anyone. I ain't fishing if you ask out here every two seconds. I see. It seemed like no one wanted to talk, and the park boss, Charles Leslie Milksarek, was found guilty in 2006 for knowingly possessing CP and for attempting to solicit sex from a child hated solicitors. Hey there. How you doing, sir? Can I help you? Yes, sir. Would you like to buy some chocolate bars? Get out of my park. Mr. Beast Bar? Get out of my park. Cops are already on the way. Are you a sex offender? Are you? No, sir. Well, then get out of this park. What's the problem? Please, my property. You don't have rights to come in here and sell stuff. 
I apologize. All right, all right. All right. Would you turn yourself into the sheriff? How you doing? Would you like to buy a Mr. Beast bar? Gotcha. <laughs> sex offender? Goodbye. Are you a sex offender? And what's the problem here? I can't sell chocolate bar? Just yeah, explain yeah. that to you. Why y'all hating? This man. Oh, show me too. I like this. I love it. Say what's up. So what did you do to end up here? What did you do to end up here? Guy, go with cold cock your ass. You're gonna cold cock me? Yeah. All right. See you guys. All right, I guess they're not buying chocolate. Let's go out. You might be wondering how I found his mugshot, his name, his address, and honestly, even if you're not a sex offender, your personal information is publicly available online, and data brokers are selling it. With all your personal information available online, you risk being attacked or harassed due to political views or opinions you've shared in the past. I get death threats every day, and people search for my address. The worst part is, when data brokers sell your information, they oftentimes get information about your family, too. Do you think your kids should pay the price for your silly face? Facebook opinions 10 years ago? I didn't think so. But thanks to the sponsor of this video, Delete Me, they can help you keep your personal information private. I signed up for Delete Me. A couple days later, I got a report back showing 1,200 listings removed over. No way! I found that 91 data brokers had my information. So reclaim your privacy now and join deleteme.com slash Tyler for 20% off. That's join deleteme.com slash Tyler for 20% off. Thanks, Delete Me. Now, before we begin phase two of my plan to infiltrate Pervert Park and get some confessions, I want to explore the nearby area and see who else might be affected by this community of sex offenders. And we immediately found this down the street, a high school. We have Leelman Innovation Academy, a high school full of children, and two minute drive away is Predator Park, full of 120 plus convicted sex offenders. How is that possible? But even more disturbingly, I was surprised That's crazy. To that the parents sending their children to this high school had no clue what it was right next to. Excuse me, miss. I can um, interview you about the school being so close to them community of sex offenders where there's like 120 convicted sex offenders two minute drive away uh -huh. did you know about that no my son goes to this school he goes to school here for years. okay so there's a place called predator park I'm trying to get like parents to hear their opinion on how close they are you just never knew that okay now you know it's not going to let us know that but as parents we should know that but i'm glad you told me that it's a literal two minute drive away okay yeah thank you all right Appreciate good to know See ya. Come on, at least a PSA, public safety, don't walk through here on your way home. It ain't right. Why she didn't even know. Petersburg hiding this dirty little secret in plain sight. Don't the parents and kids deserve to know? Hey there. What are your thoughts on living next to the uh, sex offenders? We're doing a little documentary piece. We're trying to... Sex offenders. A hey, question for you, sir. Were you aware that there's 120 sex offenders over there? Oh, I have no idea. No? Do you have any opinions on the proximity? I didn't even know that was one. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna pull up to the shopping center, see what the people have to say here, and see who we can talk to. I've heard about the sex offender thing, whatever. I mean, I guess they have to have a place to live, right? But sure. Um, daycare right there, yeah, school right there. That that that's probably not the best place to, to house them, you know. But you know, the the, the, the it's a, it's a tough situation. So. I think they could have found a better place. I mean, they do have to have yeah. somewhere to go to be able to rehab. I think it's probably like putting candy in front of a baby putting them here they just look a little longer at the younger girls i think the temptation should be taken away i don't think i don't think that's helping them by putting them in an area of temptation um, i don't think putting them in the woods that they're not animals um, but I think that there should be a discussion about it. And just so you understand, this is Pervert Park, this is how close the high school is, and this is how close the pre-K daycare is. Do you think there should be a separation between, let's say, someone who took a piss on a light pole and exposed their penis to the public versus someone who raped a kid? No. Look, the penal system is fucked up, right? So people have to have a chance to re be reformed, you know? I will say this much that, you know, look, man, if you fuck ki kids, you kids, you, 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 you women, you're a fucked up individual, you need, there's something mentally wrong with you, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then the, you have to have a place for these people. So this was the point, is sure. you're talking about, okay, is it the same if somebody, you know, the oh, public urination. He's in public, you're drunk, and then you turn around, there's a kid watching, you're like, I'm going to jail for life. No, I'll, I'll tell you a story about sure. a kid I was locked up with, right? All right. So, uh, or when he hooked up with the girl, he was, I think, 16, and she was like 14, right? 13, 14. So... They went through, had a, had a kid and everything. Then there was a beef between him and her parents. Her parents called because she was still a minor. He was an adult at this point. And the, the, the man got locked up 
got put on the National Sex, sex Offender Jeez. Registry. They pressed charges, the judge decided to convict, and the man went to prison, you know, at, for being a sex offender. Now, at that point, he was still with the girl, you know, still part of the family, and, you know, waiting to get out so he could be with his family. So that's why I'm saying, like, some of the laws need to be flawed, like, or need to be, uh, are flawed and need to be changed because a, a public exposure charge or, or something like that, you know? These people don't need to have their entire lives ruined because they, they are not preying on others, you know? Thanks so much for your time. No it's very insightful. While discussing the nuance of the legal system, I met this dude. The guy's got good takes. Like he knew something. I used to go trick or treating a lot, just driving around in my parents' van. And I remember going to multiple different houses where they had graphic images just plastered on the garage walls. Actually, child pornography? Just a mixture. Jeez. Like, I know for sure, like, during Halloween, they'll have, like, a whole bunch of police officers go in that, like, area and, like, tell kids, like, y'all can't go over here or, like, they'll section the whole part of, I know there's 120. Y'all yeah. <laughs> have sex offenders so close to a high school and an elementary school. Like, literally, you could walk down there. And a daycare. A daycare? It really is a daycare over there? A pre-K daycare. Oh, wow. Two blocks away. But we oh. talked to a lot of people that have no clue they even exist. Is it public knowledge that there are sex offenders there? I... I don't really think so. I really think like the people that know know because it gets sectioned off over there and like people come to be like, oh, like, hey, do you know that like don't go at this area? But really, I don't think it's common knowledge. No, it's kind of like if you know, you know. I think so. people should Hopefully know. They don't <laughs> the kids. That's what I'm so saying. they can the stay away. Be approached by somebody saying, "Want some candy, little girl?" For the oh. better phrase. I agree. With such a high density of individuals willing to strip the innocence of children positioned so close to children and their families, it didn't sit right with me that it wasn't common knowledge that these sex offenders were hiding in plain sight. I think it's time to get changed, throw on the shades, see what we can find about these people. So as the storm approached, I re-entered Pervert Park with a new disguise, secret spy glasses, and began knocking door by door to see what I could learn. Wait, he's got new strategy was to tell these sex offenders I had a fictional uncle named Joe who had recently moved into the community after accidentally downloading some images off <laughs> remind you of a story you've heard I got charged with possession of child pornography I was using a file sharing program with LimeWire Network push for it man you know Joe Oh, I talked to her, you earlier? Joe, Joe uh, middle-aged, like, fat-ish white dude. Oh, I hear you. How long you been here? Because he's been here for like two months. I'm trying to find him. All right, all right. My bad, my bad. Yeah, you know Joe? He's my uncle. No way he's saying Joe. Oh, okay, my bad. Hey, question for you, man. You know where Joe's at? My uncle Joe. He said he lives in the corner. He moved in like two months ago. You know a guy? I don't know too many people here. Okay. So I'm in Palace Park though, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it everyone here is a sex offender? Not everyone, no. Are you? Yeah. How has life been since? It sucks. Yeah? Yeah. Is it? No, mine, mine was internet. Mine was actually in a, um, what do you call a uh, zip file. Yeah, I see. And there was a movie and it ended up not being the movie. It's been so long now. It was back in 2000. 17. You served like what, five years? No, I got three. Every, yeah. Every case was different too, like, because they know if you had intent, like if you viewed it or not. Mine wasn't even open. Mine mine showed the files unzipped and not viewed, so I got way less time. Have you had luck working? I got a job. I mean, it's not my favorite job. Sure. But I was doing before I got in, but. Yeah. Well, my uncle was a lawyer beforehand, and now he's definitely not a lawyer. <laughs> He's working at a gas station now. Well, at least he's got a job. Yeah. A firefighter, and, and now I mow lawn, so. Yeah. I know people that that had intent, they had possession, and they had uh, intent to distribute, and they only got a year in and two out. You need a better call Saul? Uh, yeah, yeah, you need a good attorney, and you know what? You know there's like 130-something. <laughs> yeah? Straight <laughs> there people in here yeah well i hear everyone's nice though right it's chill i just some people are creepy and i'd rather not talk to them i still have a family and everything i have to live here for now until we sell our house they know the situation yeah they supported me i see I have to get the polygraph. yeah i guess some people my would done on my, on my stuff. oh they polygraphed you that's crazy so you truly got screwed on this or what it is what it is yeah i've accepted it now i just deleted it and was like well i'll never download <laughs> Three months later, we was coming out back from vacation, six o'clock in the morning, they stormed the house. I'm like, what the f Holy shit. Yeah. No idea. No, that's scary shit, man. It is what it is, man. Thanks, man. And then I met this dude. I'm here.
here and people don't really talk to each other out here. Some people do or whatever. I mean, I talk to the guy like next door. Yeah. I, I don't want to associate really. Like, what was your experience? Uh, mine was like four of the third degree, like felony. Yeah. Kind of uh, like three or four pictures. I mean, I, all I got was 11 months. Yeah. Was it like an accidental thing? It wasn't like boys actively seeking it. Yeah. Like, come on to it. I mean, I live with a lady with her two kids. I could have been like, oh, come sit on my lap and, you know, your mom's at work and here, play on the iPad or whatever. Sure, sure. So you were just like, curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. By then it was, you know, too late. And again, I, I confess. Oh, you confess. Lesson learned, but, you know, the hard way. Crushed my, uh, you know, my mom, but my family never, you know, abandoned me. They come and, you know, for the short time I was there, they come to see me like four or five times. But my mom, all my sisters, my brother, they've all forgiven me. It's like some people forgive me, like in my family, and others don't. It's like I can't change my past, but I'm not changing. And then, out of sheer luck, my story about my non-existent Uncle Joe mm. finally paid off. Hey there. Hey. You know a Joe around here? He don't live here no more. He don't live here no more? No. He was my uncle, 40-year-old dude, making sure it's the right Joe. Oh, um, short, short bald head guy with those teeth? Uh, yeah, that fits yeah. it. Yeah, he used to live, he don't live here no more. That's my uncle. He got evicted. For what? Um, bringing uh, females over. Oh. Past like the prostitutes? Yeah. What are you here for? I basically got set up. By like what, 16 year old, 17 year old? The Facebook says she was 18. Uh, she was 16, but the only thing that kind of saved me was that she, she wrote her written statement that she consented and her dad was one pressing charges, so. What'd you, what are you in here for? Oh, uh, well, got in trouble, but you know. Yeah? Uh, we're all in here for the same. For photos or like, you, you fo like have sex with the That's kid? crazy you know, how that, I, I'd rather not talk about how them, that. After hearing a few had him glasses pick that up. I came back the next day to see if my new story would get me more confessions from the side of the park where I was initially kicked out. As I walked in, I was instantly detected. Howdy. Not a problem. Huh? Not a problem. Yes, sir. Malka lives around here. Is that you? What? Howdy. Can I help you? Uh, you the guy yeah. from the other day in the car. Not me. Turn your camera. Oh, oh, oh. Turn your camera. Oh. Off. Oh, Whoa, me, mother. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not trespassing. Really? I'm quick on my feet, brother. I'm just here to chat with my uncle. Who are you? Sir, I'm armed with an umbrella. Sir, I'm armed with the police. You're sir, are you a sex offender? Are you? No, sir. What the hell are you doing here? What do you mean? Only sex offenders allowed? You know, that is not within the Bill of Rights. You know, when the Bill of Rights says you're illegally trespassing, I can knock sure. you sound. You want to go to court on that one, brother? Go to court? Sure. What are your thoughts on the daycares and the schools near you, sir? My shoe. Whoa! Brother, don't do that! Brother. You know what to tell? Oh, hey, there's Bill. We had stumbled right into the sex offender Avenger squad. Things were looking bleak, and I was outnumbered. We're trying I don't know what you guys are up to. Yeah. I don't care what you're up to. You can take that off, please. Uh, I cannot do that. You can do that. I will not do that. What are your thoughts on the daycare and the high school being so close my to all you guys? You need to get out of my park. What are your thoughts my on the thoughts children being so close? Some people don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable I... talking to you. You need to get out of my park. I feel like we're going to get sick by this dog not, of 120 been here plus. For 15 years without a charge. Get the fuck out of my park. Whoa. Why are we getting so heated here? Because I'm asking you to get out of my park. Clearly, we're headed out of the park. Six convicted sex offenders right here. Jeez. Hey, he says. Yeah, I'm only afraid of the angry dudes. We got you afraid of the wrong one. What do you mean? I mean that dog ain't gonna f up. Which one will? Are you a dog? You have a dog in you? Or why can't we just have a chat? We're about to get sicked by convicted sex offenders dog right now. Don't do it. Oh, have a great day. Oh, we made it. All right, that's a cute dog. Huh? What? Where's the property line? Sidewalk. What? It ain't worth going back. It ain't worth going back. My friend. Somewhere with your little glasses. I'm a fake. I don't know, are you? No. You're walking around a sex offender park asking questions. You might be get off my property, asshole. What the fuck is wrong What's with you? What's the problem? The sidewalk. Are you too stupid to know asphalt? Hey, they do. Did you not ask for consent? You don't have consent. Uh, Neither did the kid. Huh? We could get to know each other. I want to get to know you. Get off my property, dude. Dude, come on. Come on, I'm not entering. I'm 
stop right here. It's not that big of a deal. Let's not press over that. Let's talk, boy. Let's talk, boy. Let's talk, little boy. <laughs> Tyler's actually crazy. Let's talk. Oh, I thought you said let's talk. I'm a pacifist. Up on the registry. Oh, man. We got an up like you. I'm not a f boy. Yeah, you are. Oh. Tell you. What do you mean? We can got fucked on your lips. <laughs> can we have a civil co talk? Not a cock, I meant a talk. <laughs> there he oh. is. <laughs> Ratting on yourselves? How you doing, officer? And in an ironic twist of fate, the police had arrived to protect and serve the sex offenders. That is. All right, the police have been called. How you doing, officer? Oh, we're just chatting shop here, trying to talk to the guys a little bit. So you were out here yesterday trying to sell them candy bars, right? Uh, allegedly. But um. What are we doing out here today? Um, we're really just trying to chat. Chat with who? Uh, some of the uh, residents here. Why? Uh, just out of curiosity. Curiosity of what? See what led them here. You guys are trying to get likes and views on social media. So do you have some idea, or do you want to get detained for obstruction? Um, I mean, you can detain me, but am I under arrest? And if so, for what charges? Harassment. You're gonna arrest me right now? You said you're being detained, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's you can't do that. You can't do that. Are you gonna I'm identify yourself? Okay, I'm on public property. Are you gonna identify yourself? You can't strong arm me. We're going to court over this. If you want? Are you gonna go? I There's a strong. Yes or no? I can ID myself. You gotta okay. let go of the arm, though. You're gonna ID yourself. Sure. Yes no? I'll ID myself. Okay. You Where's gotta let go of the arm. In my pocket. Which pocket? My right pocket. Okay. Okay. Get your ID. Okay. That's not strong arm, though. Then let's not play games. Okay. I won't play games. But you can't. You can't do that. Yes, I can. You can't. Yes, I can. When you're harassing people and committing a crime, I can detain. You. What's your date of birth? January 6, 2000. Don't let these guys know. What's a good address for you? Uh, I prefer not to say. What's a good address for you? them to know. Can I say it to you in confidence? What's a good number for you? Genuine question. What would that be used for? <laughs> Seems like there's uh, bigger things to handle here, perhaps. Stay right here. You're not free to go. Yes, sir. I'm being detained. All right, I've been, uh, I'm going to assume Jeez. protection right now. I've been detained. That being said, justice will prevail. Okay, we got backup. Much needed. How you doing, officer? Doing good. I'm trying to figure out if I've been detained. Okay, so I'm free to leave. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm free to leave, officer. Um, not that I'm aware of, no sir. I think I think they're just saying you're trespassing, so. Okay. That's all. Officer over there was uh, grabbing the arm a little bit roughly okay. there. Well, let me talk to him. Okay. The gentleman has something to say. Let's hear it. Manager of the park, from now on, you are not allowed in this park. Period. Thank you, sir. Okay. Property I'm line, or you or anybody representing you, property line is the sidewalk. You're not coming in this park, we will have you arrested. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Not under arrest? Nope. Being detained? Nope. Do you all see any last thoughts? Was the arm grab uh, essential? Where do I find your video? Um, Tyler Oliveira. He already has my name. I'm, I, I saw it yesterday, so I saw you out here trying ah. to sell candy bars. Yes, sir. It's all good. Trying to raise money. Well, uh, <laughs> it's not Tyler Oliveira or whatever. Yes, okay. Subscribe. You do? You do. Why? This cult fucks with him. <laughs> Pinellas County Fire Officer <laughs> Zero Threat or Good cop, bad cop. Dog is out here getting physical. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short <laughs> right. is That is actually hilarious. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok Wait. Right. YouTube Tyler Oliver. W cop. Alright, Jay, Tyler's actually crazy for doing this doing this shit, man. You don't know what's gonna happen.